Hi all, Agent here, and we are going to do another Battle Arena tutorial. This one's going to be really short. It's pretty much a best case scenario. Uh, nobody dropped out of either team. So we're going to head out and win a match. Using an old rail cruiser I used to have with the uh, rail erasers, I took them off and mounted a bunch of plasma pulsers to the front and some Wasp SMGs to the back. So the whole point of this game mode is to capture towers. Uh, I could stand there, sit there and shoot at that guy, but I'm not because it's not the point of this game mode. It's to take and control these towers. So this bot is now tailored to do that very task. The fastest way to take these towers is to nose up to uh, one of the corners like I did. You also get cover by doing that, a little bit of cover. Uh, if your bot's small, you get a lot of cover and shoot up the inner inner strip of those crystals. You don't need to shoot through the outside and you don't need to destroy the whole tower all by yourself. All you have to do is shoot up those inner crystals. Now I've noticed they're not really on this tower yet. They're slow to react. They're slow to get the match started. So I'll just nose right into the corner again. It's actually the wrong corner. You want to be uh, you want to have those strips at a 90 degree angle roughly to the way you're positioned. That way you can shoot them from the same spot. You can hit both sides from one spot. But uh, it doesn't matter, we still got this tower really quickly. They haven't even moved up to it, which is really bad for them. This is their near tower, so they need to get it right away, and they didn't, so now we have it. And I'm going to get out of there. I could stand there, or sit there, stand there, whatever you want to call it. I could, I could just post up there and fight these guys, but that's not what this game mode's about. So, uh, despite missing some parts, I'm not going to hide and heal. I've got plenty of redundancy, I've got steering skis underneath, so if I lose both my front wheels I can still steer. And we're just going to head right over to this other tower that our rails are beaten on. We're going to nose into the corner, we're going to look up the first strip and shoot those plasma pulsars. And boom, that quickly we have a tower. It was already partially damaged, but uh, it gets quicker and quicker as you build overclock levels because it takes less shots to, to destroy the crystals. So. I'm going to help this guy out a little bit, but again, I'm not going to go fight him. That's, that's not what this game mode is about. Uh, you do have to fight, and it's best to have a well-rounded bot that can take damage and dish it out. But I've also got uh, several bots that are specialized in just taking towers. They're really, really fast. They get around really fast, and that's all I do for the whole match is uh, keep the enemies jumping, playing whack-a-mole, trying to take those towers. So. Uh, overclock level's low. We're not going to do a whole lot of damage to the reactor right now. But uh, I'm going to get out of the way of this Tesla guy. Uh, I'm going to start working on the strips already while they're out there trying to take their towers back. Which is the correct move. Uh, you don't want to try to defend a shieldless base unless there's only like one enemy in it. If there's, if there's two or three guys and you have no shield, there's no point in trying to defend that base because you're probably not going to accomplish that. They're probably just going to kill you before you can strip their guns off, and then they're going to auto-heal, and they're going to continue working on your tower. So, I missed the top crystal there. We're going to make sure we get rid of that. And, uh, what I would normally do is go to the opposite side of that, and, uh, cut that connector. That way I don't remove a large chunk of their tower all at once, and they don't get, uh... They don't go into defense mode where they have a guy with shotguns just sit there and wait for people to rush. So I went to the opposite side, and when we cut that, they're not going to lose. Um, they're not going to lose a giant chunk between the two adjacent connector strips. It's a good strategy to use. I don't think I really need to use it in this particular match because this team, this enemy team, is not very responsive. But uh, I kind of tried to shoot his one of his shotguns off to help my teammates out. I'm going to do some damage to this guy as I pass by, but I'm not going to sit there and try to kill him, even though I could sit there and take all of his rails off and then kill him. What I want to do is I want to come get this tower back because that enemy behind me has taken it, and I don't want to fight him either. I can fight him. I probably could have sat there and aimed with a right mouse click and shot his guns off, but I just want the tower, so I'm going to go down here. I'm not going to run all the way back to base. I'm just going to go far enough away to where he can't hit me so I can heal up, come back, and finish taking that tower. We're going to shoot him on the way. I've got a power module in this bot, 
So my plasma energy, it regenerates very quickly and I can afford to take some shots uh, at enemies before I get to the tower. So again, we're going to nose up to that corner. We can see both sides, both connector strips from that corner and shoot right up them, take that tower, and now they have no base shield again. Uh, that's really demoralizing to your enemy team too, is to be constantly losing your shield. Uh, you, you feel like you're losing the match, and, and in most cases you are, sometimes you're not. But in this case, they're definitely losing the match, and keeping that base shield down uh, keeps, keeps their morale really low. So now we're gonna go in. And we're going to shoot the front strip. Usually I would recommend going for the back strip, but that strip's already been damaged at this point. So I'm going to check my back. I know they're in the base fighting, but they don't seem to be concerned with me for whatever reason. So I'm going to check my back again as I uh, regenerate energy. And we're going to finish this strip off. And look, half of their reactor core is now completely gone. It's done. And now we're just going to move to the back and finish this match off. That quickly, that's how you can end... A battle arena match really fast and I got the protonium crate and we're gonna see the scoreboard here uh, I don't have the most kills and I don't have the most damage but if you look at my score it is I think it's more than twice what the next player was so that's how you get that protonium crate and that's how you win battle arena